At the University of Pennsylvania, our Kimonk program is dedicated to creating and facilitating fellows who have a very good clinical education, but also a strong research education. What makes our fellowship special is the ability to practice at a hospital that sees a huge diversity of patients with very complex problems. You get trained by world-class faculty who are committed to your development as an academic physician. You get to train in one of the United States' best universities, the University of Pennsylvania, with enormous intellectual resources at your disposal. At UPenn, we have a very unique training environment. We have a very dense teaching institution where we have an academic hospital, undergraduate and graduate research programs. We have a VA and basic research buildings all located within two blocks. So our fellows do not have to walk very far to find mentors from all different departments and divisions, and they really build teams that come together to support them through their training. Here at Penn, the spirit is very collaborative, so you can have many different mentors who have expertise in different areas. So you can have different insight. You can have people who give you more life advice. So everybody is very collaborative and also very down to earth. The mentorship program here is like really tailored to different personalities and different individuals. And so I was mentored in a particular way that was unique to my style. And, and in turn, I, I think the way I mentor fellows as well is very different. They help facilitate meeting with other faculty who they think would work well with us. And then of course there are our co-fellows. So some of my most helpful advice has come from people who are just a few years ahead and have done exactly the path that I want to do. And they're the ones who say, yes, you know, you need to do this, this, and this to get to where you need to be. We want to attract people who are passionate about what they do, but we are not narrow in our interests. So we have fellows who pursue careers in basic science, leaders in quality improvement and clinical care. We're looking for diversity. We're looking for all different kinds of people to help make us the best institution we can be. Being at Penn Medicine, I very much feel like I'm on the cutting edge of medicine, whether it's in the scientific discovery space or it's on the implementation side of it. I feel like we very much are, are driving change even beyond Penn Medicine. They have opportunities to write clinical trials, to develop clinical research databases. The track record of our fellows who come into our program who are really set up for future success. They have developed the necessary research skills to do their research, and they have evidence of their scholarship by the publications, by the grants that they have applied for, the methodology and training that they get in how to write a grant. We're open and agnostic to the type of research, but what we're looking for is really that inquisitive mind, that commitment to an academic career. In our fellowship program, we really support and value innovation. We know that our fellows are going to be the future of our field, and we do not impose any preconceived notions about what their paths should be. We help guide them on their path to identify and pursue questions in science and clinical care that are meaningful to them. Although we all have notions of what we want to do when we enter fellowship in terms of our careers, that's subject to change and unlike some fellowships at Penn, they really require us to get the full spectrum of education from benign hematology to malignant hematology to solid tumor oncology. And so we get all of that as fellows, whether we like it or not. And I think, I think we end up liking it because it is, um, it is something that is important to at least get the basics of as we will be dealing with this in our careers. It's a place that has a lot of resources that regardless of what you're interested in, you can actually succeed and thrive at Penn. I've been able to grow sort of academically and then also personally and build my own family here at Penn. It's really inclusive for different talents, different types of research interests and then different groups of people as well.
The Hematology Oncology Fellowship is a very good community. We're all like a family. You can go in and talk to a faculty member or an administrator, and they treat you with the respect and they treat you with dignity, and that no matter what's going on in your mind, they're always there to listen. This is an incredibly supportive place to work and train. That's, I think, is one of the things that has been essential for me. They kind of open the door and they're like, explore, this is your time to explore, see what you want to do. It's not going to be the end of the world if you try something out and then realize that's not what you want and then pivot to something else. This is really your time to learn and grow. This is a place where people are really invested in the fellows. They look at you as their future colleagues that they're going to work with in the field for many, many years to come. And I think when you take that type of view of your fellows, it makes it so that you really want to help them be the best version of themselves they can be because you want to have the best colleagues. And I think there are a lot of other training programs who are incredibly prestigious. You know, I don't know if in those places those incredibly influential people are reaching down all the way down to that first year fellow. That's a pretty far reach down. So, but here they do it and they really pull you up and they open your eyes. And that's something that I've been incredibly grateful for. And the fellowship also pays a lot of attention to the wellness of our fellows. And that's really important. We want them to succeed on every front academically, but we also want them to you know, feel whole and feel well. They're constantly checking in and making sure we feel okay. Um, there's various mechanisms for us to go to them with any issues we may have. Um, if we're feeling overwhelmed, this is an environment where you always feel like you can speak up if you're feeling concerns about something. And the reason that people come and stay at Penn is the collaboration, this collaborative spirit, you know, across all different domains. If someone is considering the program, I would say that it's the people that make the program. Here at Penn, I found the colleagues, the mentors, the life professionally and personally that I had more than hoped for. And so if you're thinking about coming here, I would say it's, it's the best and no need to hesitate any further.